Hi everyone, we're going to do order of operations with some a little bit harder examples here, some medium examples where we've got a lot of things to take care of. So order of operations tells us the order in which we have to do all of our operations. And that order starts with parentheses, then exponents, then multiplying and dividing, then adding and subtracting. So for our parentheses here, we've got two sets of parentheses, this one and this one. But on the right here, that's just two. Not, nothing to do inside those parentheses there because it's just two. Whereas on the left, we have something to take care of here on the inside. We have to do that division first. That'll be our parentheses step. So negative six divided by two would be negative three. And we're gonna copy everything else down. Times five minus seven plus two squared. Again, two squared in parentheses is the same thing as just two squared because it's a positive two, it makes no difference. Next, we're gonna look for exponents to take care of because parentheses are done. Two squared will come next. Two squared is two times two, which is four. So we're gonna replace that and we're gonna copy everything else down. So negative three times five minus seven plus four now. No more exponents, so that step is done. Now we look for multiplying and dividing, left to right, whatever comes first. We see multiplication here, negative three times five is negative 15. Then minus seven plus four, we just copy down. No more multiplying or dividing, so we just do adding and subtracting left to right. So we've got negative 15 minus seven, which would be negative 22. Copy down the plus four. And one more step here to add and subtract. Negative 22 plus four would be different signs find your difference, which would be the negatives have 18 more. So the answer would be negative 18. For the next one here, same kind of process, of course. It's always the same process for any math problem. We have to follow these steps for every single math problem. So we look for parentheses. We've got parentheses here to take care of. And these we have to keep on this negative two, but there's nothing to actually do with the negative two yet until we get to the exponent step. So we've got to do this step first. So we're going to copy down the three times in the parentheses here. Negative two divided by negative two would just be one. Anything divided by itself is just one. Times negative two squared minus three. So from here, no more parentheses to actually do because it's just numbers inside. There's nothing, there's no operations to do. So we're going to go to the exponent step. Negative 2 squared. Be careful how you type this one in. If you use a calculator for this, you've got to use parentheses, which will give you positive 4. Because it really means negative 2 times negative 2, which is a positive. If you type it into a calculator like this, it's going to square the number first and then make it negative. So be careful how you do that if you do use a calculator. I recommend you don't for this part just because you might type it in wrong. And negative two times itself we know is a positive four. So that isn't too bad to take care of. So this would be a four. Let's copy everything else down where it was. Like that. Now there's no more exponents. Now let's do multiplying and dividing left to right. There's no dividing here, so we're just going to do the multiplying left to right. Three times one, of course, is just three times four minus three. And then we do, again, multiplying. 3 times 4 is 12. Kept copy down the minus 3. And our last step, adding and subtracting, 12 minus 3 is just 9. So that's our answer. One more example here of just following these steps. We look for our parentheses. We've actually got two sets of parentheses here. Let's take care of the first one first. So negative 3 divided by would still be there. Negative 4 plus 1 would be negative 3 times 1 plus 2. Now let's do the next parentheses. So negative three divided by negative three is still there. One plus two, of course, is three. Got a whole bunch of threes here. There's no exponents. Now we just have multiplying and dividing. We have to go left to right, though. Make sure we do this division first, not this multiplication. Because multiplication and division happens left to right, not just multiplying first. Negative three divided by negative three is one times three, which is three. And that's how we get our answer. If you were to do the multiplication first instead of the division first, you would get it wrong because negative three divided by negative three times three would have been negative nine, and that would have been one third. So that would have been wrong. So you gotta make sure we follow these order of operations here and always go left to right for multiplying and dividing at that step. We cannot just do multiplication first. We have to do whatever comes first, which was division.